Crash Bandicoot. The iconic game from the late 90s that challenged millions with its difficulty, pushed the original PlayStation to its limits and showed the world that platformer games can also be three-dimensional. Check it out. What do you think about that? We got real-time, 3D, lush organic environments. Hey everyone, welcome back to the series, which are known for not being updated very frequently, and they revolve around my attempt at making a Crash Bandicoot fan game, which basically means you've got to like a game to a point where you want to recreate it for some reason. If you are a returning viewer, you might have noticed a change, and that's because I fired my AI voice Daniel using in the older videos. Let's begin with the update, shall we? So this is the game, it has two levels and I think it's time to make a new one. But first let's quickly talk about difficulty. While it's true that hard games can bring a certain challenge, they can also lead to frustration. Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration. And I think my game might relate to some degree, as it's been missing one of the more important features in platformer gaming, coyote time. It means the player can still jump after losing ground contact for a while, which may not seem so noticeable at first, but when you don't include the feature, you could end up with something like this. Okay. I tried to complement it with one of the more requested features, which is Drop Shadow. But having a Drop Shadow in a game with zero shadows might not be the best idea. Oh so I made a Drop Marker, similar to how it's in Crash 4. Usually, as you progress through a game, you expect some kind of a difficulty curve, whether that be learning new mechanics or facing a harder stage. So with that in mind, I was thinking, I still haven't made a classic side-scrolling level. And there was this one stage in the original Crash Bandicoot, which was removed due to its difficulty. And it was a side-scroller. I think we have a situation here. So I gave the level a try in the remaster to see if... I'm not an expert, but when it comes to making games, I believe one should always try to make a few sketches or prototypes before indulging into the actual development, so the game doesn't turn out like my Minecraft houses. And that's why I tried making a few sketches, which I then turned into a prototype, which I turned into a prototype. Next came the actual level design, and here is a rough idea of how it went down. It slowly started coming together, but there were still lots of missing things, one of them being traps functionality, which I intentionally made a little more harsh since you have the ability to double jump in this version. And this is how you can expect some of them to behave in the game, hopefully. I don't know if it's just me, but I get derailed from doing the main stuff way too often. Anyways, I made this huge ping them. they explode on contact now. Speaking of Pingern, I think this level needs a new enemy, because I've been recycling two types of enemies the whole game, and one of them is even playable. But first, let's quickly finish the level design. To make the level feel a bit more vibrant, like it's in the Insane Trilogy, I tried adding some background details alongside with rain and fog visual effects. Don't forget the lightning. And that's when my not so great naming skills struck me. Let's name the level Thunderclimb, as you climb in the level and there's thunders. Okay, looks like level design of our shoulders. I just wanted to take a quick moment to thank you all for your continued supper, as this all started as a goofy idea and I never thought I would extend the game to this point, so thank you. Vibe assistant. He throws bottles. He uses magic. He's able to time travel. Like he can even beat you in kart racing. I got a hand from a friend who actually made this model, and he even managed to stick to the classic style. That's a good job. Although, he's a little stiff. So in order to stop him from T-posing, I rigged the character, which will allow me to animate him later. But before we start animating, I would like this character to undergo a few shader changes. And this is called cell shading. I think it gives it the cartoony look I'm going for. I find it really helpful to go through some references first for a better visualization, including me posing in front of the mirror. Bruh. I could be the odd one, but whenever I animate, I just have the urge to do something like... He's still pretty harmless though, so let's quickly change that. Oh yeah, I added funny when the bubble breaks. You what? I But it's all good since you can kill this enemy, unlike someone else. One could say that the level is starting to feel playable, and while I wouldn't fully disagree, but you could still have a rare sighting of a bandicoot sleeping on the ground, which shouldn't be happening. Or something like... So after fixing bugs for a while, I felt a relief, but only for a split second, because as soon as I look in the opposite direction, there were more bugs coming right at me, and you know what's worse? When the bugs decide to shy away and stay under the rock instead, so they can wait for a random person that's trying. 
But if anyone is interested in playing this early, I made a closed beta version for now, which is available on my Patreon until I work on polishing the game. And you could also have your own character display in the game, allowing you to live eternally. Why are we still here? It's similar to time trials in Crash Bandicoot, where you have to reach the end as quickly as possible and you can freeze your timer by breaking yellow boxes. But here's the catch, you run twice as fast in this version. And I could say that I already hate this mode, as I had to finish all the levels countless times so that I could create three different rewards for each level, only then to find out my friends struggling even with the first stage. Oh, shit off. Shit off. <laughs> 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 and it was around that time I realized it's much harder to create a difficulty for a game than I thought. Oh well. Well, that concludes today's update. I'm gonna leave a short gameplay here, but first I would like to thank all my patrons for contributing to the development. I hope you enjoy the change and feel free to leave any feedback as everything is appreciated. Enjoy!